Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play of Illusion of Gaia. Illusion of Gaia is uh, a loose follow-up to Soul Blazer. Um, it's not directly uh, related, but um, given the that it is by Quintet and Enix and uh, shares a lot of uh, similar gameplay and thematic elements and things like that, it's often considered part of a loose trilogy. Uh, so, uh, Illusion of Gaia is the second in that loose trilogy. The third game, Terra Enigma, never actually came out here in the U.S. did come out in Europe uh, with an English translation. It came out in the U.K., uh, and I do uh, hope to eventually get to that, but uh, um, I've never actually played through that very much. I've played through this game before. It's been a while. The world was in an age of exploration. Looking for new lands, man uncovered the relics of ancient cultures. And taking them to the British Museum, of course. As time passed, many legends began to surface. A legend from each ruin, a legend from each culture. Various relics were found in the ruins, and again taken to the British Museum. One of the legends told of strange statues in the shapes of spirits. What was a spirit to ancient people? The ruins don't tell us. Arrgh. Oh god, right no uh, in his nose. People who entered the ruins searching for wealth went in and were never seen again. Some said there were traps to protect the treasure. Others said it was a curse. It is nice shoes. It is still very wearable. No one thought these ruins would bring about disaster. And back to the title screen. Alright. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, let's go ahead and start our journey. Start from beginning. And uh, I'll leave all of that the same for now. Um, if I decide to change it up. There's only two button types. So it's... Uh, a and B for uh, attack talk, uh, item cancel, uh, or B and Y. It's, uh, it's a little bit weird. I don't know. I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and start journey. Oh goody, we get to start in school. My favorite. My name is Will. Everyone keeps firing at me, and I don't know why. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. My father and his party met with disaster. Somehow I made it back to South Cape. Met with disaster, huh? Uh, I mean, w did, did she at least look good? I still can't believe my father is gone. I'll never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer and see the world. Somewhere, I will meet my father. Yeah, uh, I think that's called the afterlife, sir. Yep, someone's forging something. And that's all for today's lesson. You four do your best not to fall behind. After all, you are terrible at your schoolwork. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. You are all trained warriors. I'll see you guys at the usual place. I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept after school. <laughs> we can we can we can spin this around. Uh, otherwise, we we keep it on our, our back. What it is, I don't know. We'll have to find out. It's very purple though. 
Uh, we, we look substantially different than uh, our, our neighbor here. Like always, the cave at the seashore. Alright. Oh, well, please recite with me. The world shines on brightly through eternity. No. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna bap you in the face with whatever this is. I can go up on the uh, on the roof. Oh, hello. That's interesting. Hey, Will. How many times have I told you not to come up here? You have a habit of jumping down from places. Well, I guess I can't really stop you. Aha. What the heck is this? Oh God! It's destroyed us. Disintegration. It's a dark space. I am Gaia, the source of all life. She's uh, looking looking kind of horny there. I will help you on your journey. Only one with the dark power can see this space. You are the chosen one. You know, if someone came up to me and said that I'm the chosen one because I have the dark power, I might be like, this doesn't seem good. I don't know. In the dark space, you can record a travel journal. Stop there before you depart. Don't you mean here? Record what's happened so far. Yeah, record that I've come up on the roof, please. Finish recording. Continue your journey? Sure. Then go. Get out of here! I don't love you anymore. Okay, Mom. Alright, I, I have a habit of jumping down from places. Whee! You look like a fast runner. To run, push the control pad twice. That's, uh, kind of a weird way of doing it. Can I look in the barrel? Nope. Alright. Nothing else there. But I did see that there was some place that I could jump down from here. Woohoo! I'm the jeweler gem. Wait, are you the jeweler gem or the jeweler gem? Is, is, is that one title? Or, or is that, are you a jeweler named Gem? I'm, I'm confused, sir. D don't think too much about it. I control the seven seas. What's your business? Um, I just wanted to see you. Is that right? How do you do? Once you hold up the red jewels, you'll have to come running to my place. I'm a famous master of disguises. If you saw me in another town, you wouldn't know me. Huh. I'm a master of jumping places. Ah, excuse me? No sooner was the door to Seth's, Seth's house opened... That's not easy to say. Then a jar came flying out. Well, I wanted the jar. What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? Uh, it depends on what, what kind of fun you're talking about, and... How much of the money? It's no joke, that man. I put up with it for Seth's sake. But if it weren't for him, I'd have left long ago. I mean, you could get a divorce. Uh, there's no, there's no no-fault divorce in this area. Oh, that is pretty crappy. No, but seriously, if if. If he's a piece of crap, get out. Just, just go. Ditch him. Uh, hi, you weren't here before, I don't think. I feel sorry for Seth. I understand why. He hates to see his parents fighting every day. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's worse. Gosh, can't pull it up. Is there a breeze here that there isn't... It's just like a constant breeze uh, affecting me, and only me. I mean, do you want some help, sir? Birdie, get out of here. That is that is an amazing bird able to fly uh, sideways. Seaside Cave. It was natural to, for the four friends to call the Seaside Cave their second home. I, I actually didn't mean to come here. Usually, when lessons were done at, at the school... They gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Shouldn't we do homework? 
is an amazing bird able to fly sideways. This is Lance's house. He lives here with his frail mother. Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. Really? It was exactly like that movie, Only Yesterday? No, no, I... I you know what, never mind. Ooh, basement. Can I do anything here? You're not equipped. Oh, I found a red jewel. That's pause. Trade for goods in town. Alright, well, I have a red jewel. We have a limited inventory space. My astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. That seems dangerous. I envy you when I see the sea ble breeze blowing through your hair like that. Not like mine under the scarf. Well, then take it off. Oh, yeah. It does just blow right there. And then it keeps blowing for a little bit while, a little bit of time. No, but seriously, take it off, lady. My friend Eric lives here. This is the biggest house in South Cape. Will envied people born to rich families. Oh, it's time to eat the rich. It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. Well, heard any good stories? What do you mean, it's the little things in life? What the heck does that mean? Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else. This is a rather large house. Uh... You okay there? Don't worry, I'm not on fire. It's just a treatment for my sore body. So you decide to get a smoking jacket, huh? Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. Wait, wait, which is it? A sore body or a sore head? Brain. I'm, I'm confused, lady. One, two, three, four, five. Look at the birds flying sideways. It's impressive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's strange. This game is like red light, green light. How long have we been playing this? Hmm, only me. Alright, that is, uh, that is weird. Let's go up here. I'm worried. There's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing business. Why is that a worry? Mmm, nice smell. There's no stove, so I'm cooking in this pot. Okay. I travel around to people's houses selling weapons used to fight demons. We may live in troubled times, but I won't sell a weapon to a child. But I got a red gem. This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. Mmm, pie. Welcome home, Will. Dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a while. How old were you when you had kids? Coming home at this hour probably means you have to stay after school again. <laughs> Excellent. Even if a boy can't study, he should show a little initiative. Excuse me? I'm confused, sir. Grandpa, I guess. Hold it. Many demons are prowling around outside the town. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave town without your parents? My parents are dead, sir. How dare you remind me of it? God, so insensitive. What a jerk. Whee! Alright, well, let's go into the cave. I'm coming for you, bird. Coming for you. You're not allowed to... Come, come here, bird. You're not allowed to fly sideways. Coming. 
Actually, I might be able to if I ran. That is a weird statue. <laughs> I'm going to win again for sure. What is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Ah, news! Big news! I'm gonna get the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier. Yeah. The Princess of Edward Castle has run away! They say she came to South Cape! I just explored every possible inch of this town and did not see a princess. So. That's all? You came in such a hurry to, that I thought something really big had happened. The princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara. The one you like so much. Liar! Maybe the soldiers will come lo here looking for her. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want a steel helmet, too. And then the music, uh... Comes back. And I thought everyone would be surprised. I'm not interested in girls. I like adventures better. Well, get over here and sit next to Eric. Okie dokie. Everyone's here. What should we do today? I want to see Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He moved the statue that's in the corner of the cave. Will, show me again. Oh, it moved! Yeah, I, I was just creating suction by, by spinning this thing around. Next, pick a card, any card. I'll put four cards face down. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Well, but first. Yeah, if I could only do that. No matter how many times I see it, I'm still amazed. But why can you move the statue when you can't move anything else? I can move you. By pushing you. <laughs> okay, maybe I can't. Alright, Ace of Diamonds. Um, I don't know if it matters. I should probably double check. Uh, do do do. Okay, yeah, any any one that I want. All right, let's go with uh three. Will picks up a card. It is the Ace of Diamonds, of course. All right. I'm speechless. Hey, Seth, this is some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth, sixth sense. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Seth, let's play one more game. Uh, don't, don't you guys want the rest of these cards? If I could only do that. One more game with Seth and I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to win again for sure. All right, fine. It was already dark by the time Will left the cave. Gosh, I can't pull it up. Alright. People are basically saying the same things. I think there's something I missed inside here. You're still standing there, sir. That seems, uh... Worrying? You found a red jewel! It's 
I have two red jewels. Uh, give me red jewels. Let me see if I should actually do that. Hmm, this is a rare jewel. Let me hold it for you. There are now two jewels in the room. I'll give you goods for your jewels is written on the list. Ah, okay, so if I get three, then I can get an herb. Five is defense force, eight is life force, twelve is strength, twenty is psycho power, thirty is dark power, and fifty is my secrets. Hmm. Okay. Your secrets, huh? Uh, let me see if there's any more in town. Uh... Okay. There is something over here, I believe. Supposedly, that if I keep entering and leaving, there'll be a uh, fisherman here eventually. Supposedly. Talking about this guy down here, are they? No, I don't think so. It just says eventually. This seems like a lot of uh, times. Did I miss it because it's too late? I might have. Uh, let's see. Um. Don't know. Um, oh, okay. So it does say it may have to do it several dozen times. May have had to do this earlier, though, as well. It's indicating that I should have done it before the, uh, the conversation. All right, well, I may just, uh, yeah, I think I'll off-screen that. We'll get that uh, later. I'll, I'll probably load back up and uh, redo some of that. But we should probably go home now. Uh, I, I think Grandma got turned into a pig. The pig's wrecking the room! Why is there a pig in my house? Wink, wink. Wink, wink. How is a pig wrecking the house, anyway? Uh, that is uh, an impressively strong pig. Hamlet, you shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? Yeah, so? Frankly, you look a little shabby. <laughs> well, excuse me. Father? Mother? Not here, huh? Is this a picture of your parents? You're very nosy. Well, my father's an explorer. He... I know, Omen the Explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No? I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. 
Anyway, is there a piano here? No, there isn't, but Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. Uh, how can we not hear them then? Alright, let's go see what's going on. Oh my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice. That's why I married her. <laughs> oh, you bringing up a thing like that. Well, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago. No! A scream from downstairs. And creepy music. It's that girl screaming. But I think we're going to have to find out what happened next time. See you then, everyone.